one too many vodkas, Robocop documentary. It's too small. Hurricane of thoughts. But I live a very pampered existence. What the hell am I doing this for? What a waste of time. Big lesson that I've learned is... I cannot be bothered, but I'm going to get up. I'm going to try and motivate myself. It's Saturday and I've got the day to myself. Okay, I threw some clothes on. It's time for action. A little bit hungover from last night. Went out to a gig, had one too many vodkas. Had a good time, I'm supposed to be going camping today. I'm editing next week's video, which seems like a good excuse to stay inside and not move very much. Standard and a bit humdrum. Right, I've been editing for an hour. I'm watching Wild Homestead. I'm enjoying it. I've ordered a pizza. Oh yeah. Stuffed full of pizza and chicken wings. I fell asleep on the sofa watching the um, Robocop documentary. Just episode one. I think there's three episodes. It goes in depth. Uh, had a nice afternoon nap. That's got rid of my hangover. And then I finally managed to convince myself to meditate far later in the day than I usually would. It's best to do it when you first wake up and then again, sort of mid to late afternoon. And I was starting to feel a bit sort of, you know, whirlwind of thoughts, hurricane of thoughts, possibly slipping towards having one of those days where you feel like you ought to be doing something constructive, but you don't really want to. And on the other hand, you haven't given yourself permission to have a day off. So you just feel guilty. So it's the worst type of day. And I was just starting for an hour or so to go towards that kind of day. And I just thought, no, nope, you've got to meditate and clear your head. It's your day. You decide what you're going to do with it. Also, this is my first work-free, child-free, partner-free day in, I couldn't tell you how long. So uh, this is a day off. Time to get this editing finished. <sighs> it's now Sunday. I did loads more editing until I was hungry and uh, tired. Then I ate a lot more pizza and chicken wings. And then I just chilled in front of the TV and went to bed early. It's now the next day. I'm still wearing the same t-shirt and the sun is shining. Look at this. First coffee of the day. Now, because I have challenged myself to take myself out of my comfort zone and start having experiences that are going to help me to figure out if I like the off grid, self-sufficient DIY roughing it kind of lifestyle. Because I live a very pampered existence here in West London. I've challenged myself to go solo camping in a campsite then wild camping with someone, and then wild camping alone. One step at a time. So it's time to gather together the camping equipment. We have saucepans and a little gas burner. We have gas and we have an inflatable camping pillow. Now I'm wondering if I really need to take this massive blow up mattress, self-inflating, or can I get by on a couple of yoga mats? I have Old yoga mat number one, old yoga mat number two. That is hard and unforgiving. What the hell am I doing this for? I could just play the PlayStation or play the guitar. Part of me wants adventure and then that goes up against the other part of me that just wants to chill. This is what it's all about. But this is a different beast altogether. This self-inflates. That is a very different experience. This is the whip. Now I do have a third option. Oh, that's 
nice comfy too. So the electric blow up mattress is the clear winner, but do I want to rough it and carry less stuff with me and have more room in the tent? Not sure. <laughs> cannot deflate that goddamn mattress and I spent ages looking for a tool to help me grip onto the thing that needs turning looking for this finally found it after going through a whole toolkit and a whole drawer and it wasn't in either of those places and then found it on a shelf where I obviously left it last time I used it annoyingly and it's too small I still can't deflate that mattress I stopped had three leftover slices of pizza very nice. And I managed to deflate the big purple inflatable mattress by sticking a stick into the uh, one-way valve. That was an incredible waste of time, considering the only reason I got it out, <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to take it camping. I just thought, hey, if you're testing out mattresses, why not test all three? Just for, you know, being comprehensive for YouTube, just, uh, just what a waste of time. I'm already feeling like my motivation for this whole thing is fading. Yeah, let's go through the camping stuff. <laughs> we could have a lie down. No, let's go through the camping stuff. After my nap, I thought to myself, do you know what? I've only got four and a half hours until it gets dark. And I'm gonna completely and utterly fill that four and a half hours with packing, driving, unpacking, setting the tent up, having some dinner. That's it, just go to bed. I've got a perfectly comfortable bed to sleep in right here. <laughs> I wanted to go somewhere and explore before camping, but instead I've left it too late. Um, and I just would have ended up sleeping in a tent for no reason. So. Uh, big lesson I've learned is if you're going camping, pack the day before and then get the hell out of here in the morning. Uh.